welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is Carrie here from Carrie Counts Cash. I hope you're all doing well. This is the second cash stuffing of September. Here in front of us, we have $2,260. It was a bit more of a lucrative paycheck than I expected, um, but that's okay. Nobody is gonna complain about more money. So let's just get into it. We are gonna start with our cash envelopes as usual. We have our number here that we drew from the 100 envelope savings challenge for this stuffing. We're gonna set this aside for right now, but we will come back to it. And we'll just kind of see what I have left over in my cash envelopes. In spending, we have nothing. Nobody is surprised to see that. Um, I didn't go super crazy, but I just had a lot that kind of came up this week that I wanted to buy. So I just decided to spend this kind of buffer money on something simple. It was not crazy at all, but we're gonna add $10 to spending this week and we will set that right there. Self-care does have a fair amount of money left in it and we just typically roll this one over. We don't unstuff week to week, but we have $55 in here, which is good because I will be getting my nails done here shortly, but I also booked my hair appointment. I desperately need it. It's been since the first week of June since I've had my hair done. So because that was a last minute expense, we are going to add $120 into this envelope, which will make 100, 150, 170, and 175 because it's typically anywhere between about $100 to 125 when I get my hair done, including the tip, and that will be tomorrow. So I kind of needed this money fast. Groceries has money left. We do unstuff this week to week. So we have $50 left here. We will set that to the side. And we are gonna stuff 200. So we're gonna do 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 in groceries this week. Next is gas, and gas does have some money left in it. Gas is one of those ones that I budget for um, a fair bit of money, expecting not to use it all, but then just be able to roll this over to next week or unstuff it. So there's $55 in here. So that means currently we have $105 left over, which will go right to our 100 envelope savings challenge. And we are gonna put 150 in here like we usually do. So we're gonna do 50, 100, 120, 140, 145, and 150. I did go into the city on Tuesday. I had a doctor appointment down there. Um, so the fact that I have $55 left is very nice. And I think I'll be going back into the city on Saturday to meet my brother and my sister-in-law with my mom, but my mom will probably end up paying for gas because she tends to do that when I drive her anywhere and I will be driving her down. Eating out is going to get 20, so we're going to do 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60 in here this week. So that is it for cash envelopes. Let's us move on to our 100 envelope savings challenge before we kind of get off track. That is in my little challenge binder here. And I did say in one of my previous videos that towards the end of the month, the last stuffing of the month, I'm not going to be counting what's in these savings challenge envelopes. To be surprised in the bill swap, we are going to follow through with that plan. So I'm going to stuff whatever amount was under number 68 today. 
and I believe that was $70, but just bear with me while I open it up. Yeah, so number 68 was 70. So we're gonna put 70 in there for that, which means we have 35 still left over. We'll grab a number here. And it is 83, so we will open 83 and see what's underneath that. As always, I apologize for the ring light glare. We will move this up just a little bit. And under 83, we have $41. So that's pretty good. We round 41 up to 45. So we put 70 in for the first envelope, number 68, and then that leaves us with $35. So out of the 45, we do already have 35. So next week we will just budget for $10 from my rollover money, and then we'll be able to pull a couple more envelopes, hopefully with that money left over. If that makes sense, I know it's kind of convoluted, um, but just bear with me. So we are going to color in number 83 here. I will kind of give you guys a spoiler. The 100 envelope saving challenge is going to be restarted next year. I'm just gonna stuff this until the end of the year and then whatever we have in here, we will allocate. And then we're gonna change up the way we do it for 2024, but we are still going to continue the 100 envelope saving challenge just with different trackers and a different style. So that is one of my 2024 challenges. Everything else is still kind of like up in the air, but just so you know, this money is going to be reallocated in December, whether we are finished or not. So I'm gonna put this back and before I move on, I do want to stuff what was owed to roll the dice for my last savings challenge video because I did owe it $30. So while we're right here, let's just take care of that. This is roll the dice. And we do have a $30 IOU in here. Tracker's already colored, but we're just gonna throw in 20 and 10 for roll the dice. And last but not least for my wallet, we have $10.05 left in change this week. This is kind of what it looks like. We are just gonna dump this into the Dreams Fund jar. And on we go to Bills. So we're gonna start with Bills Buffer. And this time around, we're gonna add $20 to this. This is just in case one of my bills is more expensive than I thought it was going to be. So we're gonna add our 20, and now we have 100, 150, 170, and 175. In here with my goal being 250. So we are on the way there. Car payment, we're currently not stuffing. I am meant to call them and get an update either today or tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Cell phone is gonna get $85. And hopefully this should be the last month we stuff this because 
not stuff my cell phone envelope, but stuff the 170 because my bill should be going down soon with my device being paid off in October. So 50, 70, 85. It seems like a lot of cash. We'll see what we got. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 245, 250, and 255, which makes sense because I have not unstuffed for this month yet, and I will be doing that in my bill swap. We'll unstuff all of this together. Insurance is going to get $95, so 50, 70, 90. Five. and they sent me a letter saying that they overcharged me so they were crediting me back and no word of a lie guys it was only like two dollars so I just gotta laugh sometimes at some of the bills you come up with so now we have 50 100 120 140 160 180 185 and 190 this one is fully funded for this month power bill is going to get 110 so one of these beautiful brown ones and a $10 bill makes for 220 in here this is fully funded and I will be paying this as well subscriptions. Uh, I didn't actually budget anything for it on this paycheck. It has $20. I was debating on whether or not I was going to continue Crave. I did cancel that subscription last night. I finished watching True Blood again and I did watch The Last of Us which was my big ticket item. So we're just gonna play this one by ear again. I might end up getting it back at some point because my mom kind of wants what's on it. Um, but we'll just kind of see how that one pans out. TV and internet is just like cell phone. It is going to get $85. So 50, why is that backwards? 50, 70, 80, and 5. So now we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, and 55. 255. This one also needs to be unstuffed from the previous payment. Utilities is for my water and sewer bill, and we are going to add. $30 again, so $20, $40, $50, and $60 in utilities right now, and this is not due until June or July of next year, so we've got lots of time because I just paid that. Quickly, we're going to pop into one month ahead, and we are currently working on household right now. This is my mortgage. And we're going to add $50 today. So we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 305, and 10. So 310 in household. Three ten there. We have 75 in cell phone. Nothing in car payment. Insurance has nothing. Monthly due should have 40. It has 40, so that is considering Crave. Maybe I'll take that out and put $20 into household. And then none of the rest of the categories have anything. So yes, let's pull $20 out of monthly dues and just throw it in household. And I will have to remember to update this tracker. So in total in month ahead, we have $425 right now. Next up is savings. And in savings, I track my credit card cash back at the end of every month. I did fill out this tracker, it looks messy, just ignore that. This month, we officially have $147 
uh, sorry, $100.47 in cash back. For my CIBC visa, we added $37.67 this month. I don't know why we're adding so much so quick, but I am not looking a gift horse in the mouth. And I recently just purchased my tires. So that was a big bill that should earn us some decent cash back here, which I'm looking forward to. So I will have $100 at the end of the year to claim for cash back, which is not a bad payday at all. Oh shit is next. This week we are adding $5 to my emergency fund. And we will count this. We have 1,000, 2,000 in the bank. 2,050, 2,070, 75, and 80. Okay, guys, the angle might be a little different. Bear with me. I um, had a little visitor on screen, as you may have seen if I didn't edit out that full clip. So he unbalanced the ring light, and so that's why the angle might be different. So 2080, now, oops, this is the wrong envelope, in O oh shit. And we are just going to roll and see what we're going to stuff next week. So let me grab the D20. 12, so 12 is $10 next week. Parents is next. This is just general savings for my parents as they age and they are going to get $25 as per usual. So 20 and 25 and they have 500 in the bank. 600, 700, 720, 740, 745, and 750 now in my parents' envelope. And next is pet emergencies. This is for the little hooligan that you just saw on camera. I am more than halfway done with this challenge, which is nice. And then I will just have this little nest egg in case he gets sick. So in here we have 500, 520, and 525. This week we're adding 15. So that makes 540 now. And again, we'll roll and see what we're doing next week. I really just cannot find the same color highlighter. So it's gonna be what it is. We're gonna use a different one. It is going to drive me up the bloody wall, but we will survive. And we got the moon and the stars, which is considered a 20 on this set of dice. So 20 is 25. So yes, it is a different color. Are we gonna do it? We absolutely are. Uh, that's gonna stress me out. Okay. Stop it, Carrie, nobody cares. Except I know that some of you do care. Okay, savings is gonna get $15 as well. So 10 and 15. This is just general for anything that might come up in the future that I'm not currently saving for. In here, we have 100, 150, 160, 65, and 70. 170 in savings right now. And TFSA is for my investment account. In here we have 1,000, 100, 200, 12, 20, and we're gonna add $15. So there is 12, 30, 12, 35 in here now. My brain was like, is that right? But yes, yes it is. I just am struggling this morning um, because I work nights last night and I do have a bit of a head cold. So if I sound funny or um, congested. That's absolutely why. I hope it doesn't bother you too, too much. So that's it for savings. 
we're moving on to sinking funds. So we're gonna start with short term as always. Annual fees for my credit card, it is fully funded. It's $120 a year. So that $100 we talked about previously is addition on top of the 120. So technically I have 220 something in cash back, 220 67 I believe. Christmas is getting nothing. It was fully funded. I did spend just a couple dollars so far. So slowly we are bringing that balance down. Um, but we won't be stuffing it because we're planning to budget like $50 from every person in my family, which is six or seven, depending on if I include one of my uncles. Clothing is going to get $5 though. And so that brings us to 20, 25, 30, and 35. And I'm not going to bother saying I have nothing planned for some of these categories because I say that and then I spend anyways. Costco is for my yearly membership that is fully funded for next year. Cushion, we are going to add five doll hairs to this today, which makes 60. And we are going to roll and see what we'll stuff next week. 10. So we're going to stuff $10 next week. And this is basically just like a sinking fund buffer. Now, electronics. It looks like it has a fair amount of money in here and it looks like it's about to get a heck of a lot more, but I did spend out of it. And so now I'm just kind of paying it back. We are going to do, like I said, the unstuffing in one of the next videos, but today we're gonna add $115. And it's going to look like I have a lot more than I do right now because, again, I spent about 110 of this. So we have 100, 200, 250, 260, 265, and 270 minus the 110. So that's kind of what we're at right now. Fireman's Lotto is our community 50-50 draw. It's fully funded. Health, we spent a couple dollars out of this on Tuesday when I had to go to the hospital in the city. I had to spend some money for parking. So we're adding $10, but that is just to make up for the parking fee that we accrued. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 305 right now. Miscellaneous is getting five and that will make it 10. So 10 in here. This is just for anything that I want that I'm not like budgeting specifically for. Planner savings is going to get $5 and that makes 30 now. I have my 2024 planner that I have a 17 month one and I absolutely love it. So I won't be buying one for quite a while. And Polaris is going to get $10. I did buy him food and litter and a treat on the last one. So he is down um, quite a bit since you've seen him last, but again, I haven't unstuffed yet, so I will do that in the following videos. So you have 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, and 40 minus a decent penny. Special occasions is going to get five. I am going to go up to my mom's for Thanksgiving, I think, spend a day or something with her. I don't know that we'll get up to a whole lot, but there's 15 in here right now. And like I said, we're going to go into the city this weekend and meet some family. Stock up is going to get 20. It's going to look like it has 40, but again, I need to unstuff. So 40 in here total minus a few bucks. And treat yourself is going to get five. Same deal. I need to unstuff. So this number in here is not an accurate total. So you have 20, 25, 30, and 35, but you'll see where we're at when we get to the bill swap video for this. Vet Visits is fully funded for 2024 so far for his annual checkup at least. 
and that means we're moving into long-term sinking funds. Last but not least, we're going to start with car maintenance. I'm going to tuck that right under there. So new car has 10,500 in it plus the deposit of 500 that I made. So technically it was 11,000. Detailing is going to get $5 this week. So that will make 20, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60 in detailing. Fees is funded at 100 right now. This is for my license renewal next year in June. Deductible is going to get five. And this will make this $35 in deductible. Tires had 750, but I spent all of this last night with the exception of 20 bucks. So I'm gonna pull these placeholders out and put the 20 in. My tires ended up being $730.76. I ordered them online. They have already shipped this morning and I ordered them last night at like 11 p.m. So I am in love with the website that I buy them off of, it was great. So there is $20 in tires now, and we will kind of start stuffing this slow and steady like we do with everything else. And service, because we have a couple categories that were fully funded, we are currently putting 20 in, but I'm assuming that stuffing, because I am now stuffing tires again, I will bump this down to 15. So in service, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 1. 30, 135, and 140 in service. So that is it for car maintenance right now. And so in total, it has $10,855. Cause that $750 in tires or technically 730 was a big loss. Home maintenance is next. And home decor is fully funded. I did say in my savings challenge video that I was gonna go and correct this. I just pulled like $5 out of gas or groceries or whatever and stuffed it in here. So this should be 250, we'll double check. 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 245, and 250. Perfect. Now, because home decor is fully funded, we are going to snowball the $5 that we would normally put in here to a different category, which will go to seasonal now. So $250, and we're going to put five in furniture, which makes $40 now. Just gonna turn these around so that they're orientated towards myself. So plus 40. Seasonal has a decent penny and we're gonna add 10. So 500, 600, 700, 710, 720, and 725 in seasonal. The goal is 1,000, but I am happy with $700 for the plowing season to start and it's not even October yet, so we're not talking about it. So plus 725. Renovations is gonna get five, which will make this 20. So 10, 15, 20. And appliances, you guessed it, getting five. So 20, 30, 35, and 40 now in here. And other is just like kind of my buffer for home maintenance. It has 10, but it's gonna get five, so 15. So that is another $55 between these two categories. So in home maintenance, we have $1,090 now. Put 
property taxes and income tax are next in the tax category. Um, we'll do income tax first. That's going to get five to make it 20. And property tax is going to get 140. So in property tax, we have 1,000 in the bank plus 500, so 1,500, 1,600, 1,700, 18, 19, 2,000, 2,100, 2,150, 2,170, 2,190, and $2,200 in property taxes, which makes 2,220 right now. And our goal is 3,600. And we want to have this by the end of April-ish. So we are moving right along. And last but not least is Wanderlust. So miscellaneous is fully funded right now. This is going to be for my passport. This does need consolidated, so we will do that. So 200 in there. Pre-trip expenses is going to get $5 to make 15 now. Spending is going to get 5 and this is $20 for this category. It just did not want to get in there. And Weekenders is currently the one that we're throwing more money at. So this is getting the $5 we were putting towards miscellaneous each week now. So it's going to get $10. So Weekenders has 100, 200, 300, 320, 330, 340, 350, 355, and 360. My goal is 500 for this and this is just for exactly what it says little tiny weekend trips or getaways. So plus 360, is that what I said? I think so. Accommodations and flights should both have the same amount. There's 15 in each of them. We're gonna add five. So that makes 20 each. So 40 in there and fun has, I believe 10, yep, 10, and dining has 10. So if we add a five to both, we now have $15 in each. Which means we have 6.65 in Wanderlust right now. And there are no trips currently on the horizon, but it is nice just to kind of have a little nest egg saved up ahead of time. So we will count this and see if it is what I think is left over for savings challenges. We have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So that's 500. 10, 15, 20, wait, that's not even close. So 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, so that is 600, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and 85. So I feel like I'm supposed to have another $5, but it's possible that I screwed up somewhere, and I actually don't care, so we're going to leave it like this for now. And I will see you all in the savings challenge video. Bye.